Okay, here we are with our uh, little humidity gauge again. Okay, I've got 78% relative humidity. Now my dew point is 41.59 Fahrenheit. Now let's take a look at the duct temperature leaving the coil. Now let's look at the evaporating temperature. Now ignore the condensing temperature. I don't have that gauge hooked up. Uh, but the evaporating pressure 63.4 which corresponds to 36.2 as an evaporating temperature. So we are below dew point on our evaporating temperature. No, we're at 53.6 duct temperature and our uh, dew point is 41 and a half. I have not reached the dew point. At least the duct temperature doesn't show I've reached the dew point. So why am, am I condensing water? Okay, you can see we do have condensate draining out of this, so we are condensing water uh, in this coil. So now we're going to take a look at an indoor coil. Now remember, our evaporating temperature was 36 degrees. Okay, I'm evaporating at 36. First, that's well under that uh, 41 dew point. However, virtually no part of this coil is 36 degrees. It's going to be somewhere between the 36 degrees and the uh, supply air temperature, which I think was about 54. Let's look a little closer at this coil. Now, this is an air conditioning coil, and it has the fins very close to each other. Uh, you can see they're really close. Okay, there's copper tubes inside there and aluminum fins. Now the fins are just there to extend the surface area of the coil. Now, if I took a temperature of this tubing temperature in here, perhaps went to one of these U-tube bends, I would get a closer temperature to that of the evaporating temperature because the refrigerant is evaporating right inside and all it has to do is travel through the thin-walled copper. But, if you look at these fins, these fins can be all sorts of different temperatures. The closer they are to the pipe, the colder they're going to be. But because they're transferring heat, they're going to warm as they get farther away from the tubing. You have all sorts of different temperatures going through this coil. You know, this, this coil changes a lot 20 degrees. Well, it will drop the temperature about 20 degrees. And so at different points in this coil, it's all going to be all sorts of different temperatures. And at different parts of the fins, uh, there will be different temperatures. So the, what the result is, very simple, is you'll be condensing on areas like this. Because these are closer and probably below the dew point. So they will actually condense, and you'll usually see water on these things. As you get into the passes and the fins themselves, these are going to be progressively warmer and will not have any condensate on them. So, uh, sometimes we get a lot of condensate, sometimes we get a little bit of condensate. Uh, the amount of condensate is generally, be, if you're using the same coil, same fan speed, the amount of condensate is going to depend on relative humidity simply because more of this coil will be below the dew point. Like if I have a low relative humidity a lot of this coil is going to be above the dew point and will condense nothing. But if I have a very high dew point close to the ambient temperature or high relative humidity then more of this will be condensing and you'll condense more water.